Hello everybody, Joe here with another adventure, if you want to call it that. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on this here KLR 650. As a disclaimer, this is my first motorcycle, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Um, so may maybe this will be good for those people who are looking to get into motorcycles and are considering this motorcycle. It's it's kind of a good option. I, it's cheap and uh, I guess I can get into other things too here. I, I see a lot of people on the internet have already uh, commented on this bike and gave their thoughts on it and maybe this is be a little bit different because this is coming from my point of view, somebody who is brand new to it. I'm a younger guy, only 26 years old and uh, well, maybe it might be worthwhile to somebody. So for starters, I will say this bike is perfect in almost every aspect for me. It's only 600, 650 cc's, so I can't really, I definitely can get in trouble, but it doesn't go very fast. It tops out at maybe 90 miles an hour and the speedometer's off by like seven miles an hour, so maybe, I don't know, 83, 85 miles an hour. Another thing is, uh, well, actually what I like the most about this motorcycle is the fan base. All the other people that have these bikes or have older generations, um, this is the Gen 3, and they've got the Gen 2, and the Gen 1, obviously. Um, the bike's been around since the 80s, so... There is uh, quite a history of it. Um, I guess I think if I think they had a break somewhere in 2018, I think, and they just came back with this. This is a 22 model, so it's the first of the comeback. As I was saying, the people online are phenomenal. The forums. Anytime I have a question about this motorcycle, all I gotta do is take a picture of it. And put it on the Facebook page and within 20 minutes or so I, I have a response which is awesome. Uh, I don't think you would have that with, with every motorcycle. Another thing I I guess I'll kind of move into my next my, my next point here. You know this bike doesn't really do anything well. It's alright on the gravel roads, township roads, unmaintained roads but uh, it kind of does everything. I, I like to think of this as like my doomsday motorcycle. If society collapses, this is what I'm going to hop on. It's got a six gallon gas tank, which is awesome. I The fuel range on it is almost farther than my Tacoma. It's kind of like a big dirt bike. People say it's kind of heavy, but what do I have to compare it to? I mean, looking at that bike right there, that bike's probably 700 pounds. I don't know. It's kind of a cool color, though. I don't compliment Harleys very much. So, you know, these bikes are pretty cheap to get into. And the accessory list is also phenomenal. I know I made a video a while back about adding engine guards and some tusk accessories to it. Uh, but really, like, the list is, is endless. Whatever you want on it, you can find it. And you could probably find multiple options for it. And I think that's just kind of one of the benefits of having a, a bike that's... I don't want to say it's the Jeep of motorcycles. But... It kind of is. So, I guess... I guess that's pretty much all I have to add. I just want to make a quick video and... I guess stay relevant with my motorcycle videos. I, I do really like this bike. I try to ride it as much as possible when I'm home and the weather's nice and I don't want it to just sit in the garage and be a garage queen. Oh. Oh, check that out. So I, I do want to add that I'm going to be going down to Georgia in the coming weeks. And uh, this motorcycle is going to be staying up here in Ohio in my parents' garage. So 
This will probably be the last of the KLR content for the year. Not that I had much anyhow, but... Um, if anybody has any questions about the bike, you know, drop a comment and I, I will respond. I check YouTube every day. I will continue to make my little vlog videos. I, I really enjoy making those. Uh, I know they don't get very many views, but um, that's not going to stop. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch up with you later.